The carbonyl group, a carbon double bonded to an oxygen, is probably the most important functional group found in organic compounds. Compounds containing carbonyl groups, called carbonyl compounds, are abundant in nature. Many play important roles in biological processes. Hormones, vitamins, amino acids, drugs, and flavorings are just a few of the carbonyl compounds that affect us daily. The common classes of carbonyl compounds are given here. Notice that the common C double bond O carbonyl group in all these compounds. An acyl group consists of a carbonyl group attached to an alkyl group or to an aryl group. The substituents attached to the acyl group strongly affect the reactivity of carbonyl compounds. Carbonyl compounds can be divided into two classes. Class 1 carbonyl compounds are those in which the acyl group is attached to an atom or a group that can be replaced by another group. Carboxylic acids, acyl halides, acid anhydrides, esters, and amides belong to this class. All of these compounds contain a group that can be replaced by a nucleophile. Acyl halides, acid anhydrides, esters, and amides are all called carboxylic acid derivatives because they differ from a carboxylic acid only in the nature of the group that has replaced the OH group of the carboxylic acid. Class II carbonyl compounds are those in which the acyl group is attached to a group that cannot be readily replaced by another group. Aldehydes and ketones belong to this class. The H and alkyl or aryl groups of aldehydes and ketones cannot be replaced by a nucleophile. Thus a ketone has two alkyl or aryl groups attached to a carbonyl group. An aldehyde has at least one hydrogen and an alkyl or aryl group attached to carbonyl group. Formaldehyde is the simplest aldehyde which has two hydrogens attached to carbonyl group. The carbonyl carbon atom is sp2 hybridized and bonded to three other atoms through coplanar sigma bonds oriented about 120 degrees apart. The unhybridized p orbital overlaps with a p orbital of oxygen to form a pi bond. The double bond between carbon and oxygen is similar to an alkene double bond, except that the carbonyl double bond is shorter, stronger, and polarized. The double bond of the carbonyl group has a large dipole moment because oxygen is more electronegative than carbon, and the bonding electrons are not shared equally. In particular, the less tightly held pi electrons are pulled more strongly toward the oxygen atom, giving ketones and aldehydes larger dipole moments than most alkyl halides and ethers. We can use resonance forms to symbolize this unequal sharing of the pi electrons. The first resonance form is more important because it involves more bonds and less charge separation. The contribution of the second structure is evidenced by the large dipole moments of the ketones and aldehydes compared to that of alkyl halides and ethers. This polarization of the carbonyl group contributes to the reactivity of ketones and aldehydes. The positively polarized carbon atom acts as an electrophile, Lewis acid, and the negatively polarized oxygen acts as a nucleophile, Lewis base. The physical properties of aldehydes and ketones can be explained by an examination of their structures. The lack of a hydrogen on the oxygen prevents the formation of hydrogen bonds between molecules. We have seen that the carbonyl group of aldehydes and ketones is polar due to more electronegative oxygen atom. This polarization of the carbonyl group creates dipole-dipole attractions between the molecules of ketones and aldehydes, 
resulting in higher boiling points than for hydrocarbons and ethers of similar molecular weights, but lower boiling than the hydrogen-bonded alcohol. The following compounds of molecular weight 58 or 60 are ranked in order of increasing boiling points. The hydrogen bonding attractive forces in alcohols are stronger than dipole-dipole interactions in aldehydes and ketones, which are stronger than London forces in hydrocarbons. Thus for same molecular weight, boiling point increases with increasing strength of intermolecular forces in different molecules. The same can be shown in graph that is correlation between boiling points and strength of intermolecular interaction. Due to the presence of only weak intermolecular London forces, hydrocarbons have lower boiling point than aldehydes and ketones, which possess slightly stronger dipole-dipole interactions. The alcohols have higher boiling point due to strong intermolecular hydrogen bonding. As shown in this graph, the boiling point differences between alkanes, aldehydes and ketones, and alcohols narrow with increasing molecular mass. This is because, as the alkyl chain length increases, the effect of polar CO and OH group on secondary attractive forces decreases. Although pure ketones and aldehydes cannot engage in hydrogen bonding with each other, they have lone pairs of electrons, and can act as hydrogen bond acceptors with other compounds having OH or NH bonds. For example, the hydrogen of water or an alcohol can form a hydrogen bond with the unshared electrons on a carbonyl-oxygen atom. As a result of this hydrogen bonding, low molecular weight aldehydes and ketones, those having less than 6 carbons, are soluble in both organic solvents and water. Higher molecular weight aldehydes and ketones, those having six carbons or more, are soluble in organic solvents, but insoluble in water. Formaldehyde and acetaldehyde are the most common aldehydes. Formaldehyde is a gas at room temperature, so it is often stored and used as a 40% aqueous solution called formalin. When dry formaldehyde is needed, it can be generated by heating one of its solid derivatives, usually trioxane or paraformaldehyde. Trioxane is a cyclic trimer, containing three formaldehyde units. Paraformaldehyde is a linear polymer, containing many formaldehyde units. These solid derivatives form spontaneously when a small amount of acid catalyst is added to pure formaldehyde. Acetaldehyde boils near room temperature, and it can be handled as a liquid. Acetaldehyde is also used as a trimer, peraldehyde, and a tetramer, metaldehyde, formed from acetaldehyde under acid catalysis. Heating either of these compounds provides dry acetaldehyde. Peraldehyde is used in medicines as a sedative, and metaldehyde is used as a bait and poison for snails and slugs. Aldehydes and ketones are responsible for many flavors and odors that we readily recognize. Cinnamaldehyde is the aldehyde that gives cinnamon its flavor and odor. It occurs naturally in the bark of cinnamon trees and other species of the genus Cinnamomum like camphor and cassia. These trees are the natural source of cinnamon, and the essential oil of cinnamon bark is about 90% cinnamaldehyde. Vanillin is a phenolic aldehyde. It is the primary component of the extract of the vanilla bean. Vanillin is mainly used as a flavoring agent, usually in sweet foods such as ice cream and chocolate. Carvone is a monoterpene ketone found naturally in many essential oils, but is most abundant in the oils from seeds of caraway, carum carvi, spearmint, menthus piccata. 
Carbone is used to flavor chewing gum and mint candies and to provide aromas in personal care products, air fresheners, and aromatherapy oils. Benzaldehyde is an aromatic aldehyde compound with a distinct odor resembling almonds. The most common use of benzaldehyde is to provide almond flavoring in food and beverages. Some naturally occurring compounds do not contain a carbonyl group, but they are converted to aldehydes and ketones by enzymes in cells. One such compound is amygdalin, known more commonly as laetrile. Amygdalin is present in the seeds and pits of apricots, peaches, and wild cherries and bitter almond. In the body, amygdalin is converted to two aldehydes, glucose and benzaldehyde. Also formed as a byproduct is hydrogen cyanide, HCN, a toxic gas. Many important biological compounds also exhibit the carbonyl moiety. Testosterone is the male sex hormone that is made in the testicles. Testosterone hormone levels are important to normal male sexual development and functions. During puberty, in the teen years, testosterone helps boys develop male features like body and facial hair, deeper voice, and muscle strength. Progesterone is one of two female sex hormones, the other being estrogen. Its main functions are regulating menstruation and supporting pregnancy in the female body. Ketones play an important role in the tanning industry. Dihydroxyacetone is the active ingredient in commercial tanning agents that produce sunless tans. Dihydroxyacetone reacts with proteins in the skin, producing a complex colored pigment that gives the skin a brown hue. In addition, many commercial sunscreens are ketones that have the carbonyl carbon bonded to one or two benzene rings. Examples include avobenzone, oxabenzone, and dioxabenzone.